If you think that making substantial amounts of income online with AI isn't for everyone, or that you need to have a really large social media following or a huge shop on Etsy, then this video is for you. I'm just a normal middle-aged mom with four kids. I have ADHD and anxiety and a really super busy schedule. Yet with the advances of AI, I've been able to set up multiple income streams that require minimal amounts of work, or some of them are even now passive income streams. I do wanna preface this video that the first two businesses were not initially set up with AI. Yet after about two years, I did go ahead and incorporate AI into those businesses and they did see significant changes. With that being said, let's get into what I do and how you can possibly set up one of these income streams or maybe even a few of them. So the first income stream is my original business and this is my digital download shop on Etsy. I sell sublimation files to crafters who make physical items such as tumblers, wind spinners, mouse pads, glass jars. The list really does go on and on as there are hundreds of different products within the sublimation space. So essentially I create a digital design with AI and upload that to Etsy and then the crafter purchases the design and applies it to a tumbler like this. So the image on this is what the digital download is that I created and then they finish off the process by making the physical product. At the height of Bailey Design Co, it was making over $45,000 a month on designs like this. However, I was running hundreds of dollars per day in ad spend. And so now since the shop basically runs organically, it averages anywhere from seven to $10,000 a month. So why does this business model work? I get questions all of the time asking, do people really buy PNG designs like this? And how can you get so many sales? The reality is, is that there is a very high demand for customizable, trendy designs. And the thing is, is that they change quarterly, if not monthly. The designs that people purchase for their sublimation products heavily depend on the time of the year, what is trending, and then of course, different styles that come out. With the constant need for new designs, the market is always ready for new sellers and new designs on the platform. There are three things to be really successful with this income stream. And the first is to have a really good design software, preferably with one that has AI built into it already so you're not purchasing multiple different platforms. A few favorites of mine are platforms like My Designs or Kittle, though the softwares like Ideogram work and Midjourney work, you will just then have to pull your AI design into some design editing software of choice so that you can then list it on Etsy. The second thing to succeeding on Etsy is that you'll need to be able to set up a shop and create a listing, which is relatively simple, though I have many tutorials on this channel of how you can do that. Finally, and probably the most important factor when choosing this income stream is that you do need to be selling high demand, low competition products to be successful as a new seller. With the more sales and reviews that you can get, this can change and you can go after more competitive, higher volume keywords. However, when you are just starting out, it is best to go with that low competition search, so, or low competition high search, so that you have a chance to stand out and make sales. So my second income stream is pretty much the same as the first, though the designs are actually sold on my own platform. I use Wix for hosting and I set this up a few months after I was starting to see uh, consistent sales on Etsy and I wanted to make sure that I had a backup plan in case I was ever kicked off of Etsy or I just didn't want to sell on the platform anymore. So they are literally the same designs that I create for the Etsy shop. I then just list them on my Wix site and people can then purchase my subscription for a month or they can purchase it for a year or even for lifetime access. So this works really well for me because it's a passive income stream. So I'm not doing anything extra to sell these since I've already created them for the Etsy shop. It really is just a matter of listing these over to the site, which we have software and system to do this. 
So it really is a more passive income stream. It is very low maintenance because I'm not worrying about the Etsy algorithm or worrying about running ads or even competition copying the designs. So to be successful with this model, you'll need to be able to set up a website and have some sort of technical skills in that area or be able to outsource that. Like I said, I use Wix. It is fairly simple again to use, but it does require a bit of setup in the beginning. The other big thing with setting up your own subscription or membership site is that you will need to think about marketing. If you don't already have an audience built somewhere like TikTok or Instagram or Facebook, you will need to consider how you're going to drive those customers to your membership site. Once you have a steady, loyal base of customers, you don't really need to focus so much on the marketing as long as you continue to put out consistent content or designs or whatever it might be on that site on a regular basis. So for me in the beginning, I used Etsy to create those lifelong customers. I converted them into email list subscribers or Facebook group followers. And that is how I marketed my membership when I was ready to release it. So my number three income stream is actually a very brand new stream. It is actually only two months old at this point, and it is another membership model. So this community provides AI prompts created by me for trending products that I find to sell on Etsy, along with the SEO to then list on those products. So why this model works is because brand new Etsy sellers are often very much overwhelmed with the need to do a bunch of keyword research to find those low competition keywords. Then they're confused with which AI tool that they actually need to be using and the prompts that go along for those individual AI tools and then bring in that SEO. And again, it's just a lot of overwhelm. So every day I provide a trending new product that has low competition. I provide the AI prompts to then create those designs in four different AI tools. So the ones I use are Midjourney, Ideogram, Dolly3, and Kittle. I also then provide the SEO for the title and the tags that would be relevant to that product. And what this does is just save a ton of time for that new seller. Instead of them running around trying to piece together a bunch of information, they can just focus on one thing to get sales as quickly as possible. One of the fastest sales um, examples is that someone listed one of the products that I had given and they got their first sale within three hours. Now I do get the question all of the time saying, well, won't this saturate it or it won't work if everybody else is just doing the same thing. But what I really teach is to change a few things in the prompt or the product to make the design unique and your own. And you are 10 times more likely to see success if you do that instead of just copying word for word and listing what I say. Some of the other great things about the membership is that it's a very robust community of like-minded people who are more than willing to support each other. I have even learned a ton in there on the design side and AI side. So it's really exciting to be a part of a group of people that are on the same journey as you. I also do monthly live Q and A calls where anybody can ask me anything. And I also provide support within the group as needed. And then I release specific design tutorials related to AI within that community. I really think that anyone can start a community or membership on basically anything if you have any bit of knowledge to share at all. The only things that you'll be looking at when starting that is what type of value can you bring to help someone else? And then how are you going to get it out there in the world? If you don't have an existing audience, then it's at this point that you'll want to look at where can you be consistent at creating some form of online content, whether that is in the form of blog posts or on a podcast or on a YouTube video or in an email, if you have an email list, to get the word out about your new membership. A few other things that you'll need to have a membership be successful with is choosing a good platform. So for this one, I went with school 
just because it had a lot of unique and new features and it's worked really, really well. I love the platform. I have plans to start another membership on there, so I'll definitely be back again. You'll also need to set up some sort of library of information in there so that when people join in, there is something for them to access since usually memberships or communities are a month to month uh, type of education basis. So you'll want to have something in there that they can access right away. So while you're adding something every day or weekly, they can react to something that's already been put up. If you are interested in a proven roadmap to diversifying your income with AI, then be sure to comment down below AI income. And I'll be sure to send you my brand new guide that I have set up that is basically a roadmap of how you can diversify your income with AI. Again, just comment AI income and I will be sure to send you the link to that right away. So the fourth stream is actually through YouTube. And this is from AdSense and from brand deals or sponsorships four videos that I create on AI software. So if you've been on the channel at all, you know that I make a lot of AI tutorials on different AI tools and software that are out there. So for example, ones on B45 or on Kittle, oftentimes I am paid with the sponsorship or a brand deal from the company. I then also earn money passively on the AdSense from that video. So I do consider this one semi-passive just because you have to create the videos first, but then you can continue earning money on them via the AdSense for as many times as people continue to watch them. So to get started with this, you'll just need a subject that you enjoy talking about or have some type of knowledge that you can create videos on or tutorials or talking head videos on, and then just start creating the content. In the beginning, you'll want to optimize for SEO, which is search engine optimization, meaning that people are already actively looking for the type of content that you are creating. You'll just want to be consistent in whatever your posting schedule turns out to be. And in time, you'll be able to build a loyal audience and it may be even faster than you think. If you use me for an example, I've been on the platform for only one year and have over 34,000 subscribers at the time of filming this video. And I've only done this in about 50-ish videos. I can't remember exactly how many I have up, but it is a really low number and that is a very high amount of subscribers and views across the channel for the amount of time that I've been on the platform. I've never had to approach a brand for a sponsorship deal or anything. They find you. I will say that if you are creating relevant content in your niche for whatever you've chosen, and there are companies out there that would fit within their, that niche that you're creating content for, they will reach out to you. So number five is a little bit similar, but it is affiliate revenue for the AI tools that I talk about. Now this just isn't for the brand deal that I'm paid upfront to make a video about the tool, but this is a recurring piece of revenue that I get per customer that signs up using my affiliate link. I don't just place affiliate links in my YouTube videos for anything and everything. They are only on tools and software that I use myself on a regular basis that I know and trust. And that probably is the biggest thing with affiliate marketing. I highly recommend that you never promote an affiliate link just because it has good commissions or that a lot of people are purchasing that just because that will cause um, just a lot of issues on the long end when something doesn't work out with the affiliate or there's issue with the software or the tool that you've been promoting. Some of the other places that I've had great success with promoting my affiliate links for the AI tools that I use are places like Pinterest. I have a very large following over on Pinterest and they do very well over there, as well as places in my blog articles, to my email list, and on my podcast. I'm trying to remember if there is anywhere else that we list those links, but I think that's about it besides the YouTube videos. Affiliate marketing is very easy to get started with. All you have to do is sign up for the affiliate programs that you would like to promote or have experience with and get your link and start sharing it via the content that you're creating and producing. With affiliate marketing, 
the more places that your links are found, meaning the more content that you are producing, the higher that revenue will be. And I can safely say that it is one of the most passive income streams that I have because I'm already creating the content anyway. These links are simply placed where the content is being produced or released and I don't have to do anything further. I actually do have a six AI income stream, but I'm not going to go much into it since it is still in development, but this is going to be a software or an app that is uh, AI driven that will be released to my community within the next few months, depending on when all of the testing is finished. So do be sure to be on the lookout for that. Now remember, you don't need to start all of these at once. Pick one and then you can expand from there. While I do have many videos about selling digital designs on Etsy, do be sure to let me know down in the comments if one of these other income streams resonates more with you and you would like to see a full video made on that. Don't forget to comment AI income if you do want the full guide on creating multiple streams of income with AI. And if you do want to learn more about selling digital designs on Etsy, then be sure to watch this video next, which is a full tutorial on selling digital downloads on Etsy. As always, thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.